Question number two. I'm currently dealing with moths. I think they're pantry moths, as they mostly are by the front door in the kitchen. What's the most effective way to tell them to scram? I like this question because I like the word scram. Okay, so basically, I look at getting rid of moths in four steps. First step is you have to identify the source of the problem. Nine times out of ten, you brought in pantry moths in some kind of a uh, most likely bird seed or flower, or some kind of organic food that you purchased. Uh, that's where they like to hitchhike into your home. So you got to find it, and then you got to get rid of it, get it out of the house. And and if they if it's been a while. You may have to find a couple of different sources because they may have traveled from one bag to the other. They'll actually chew through plastic and they'll get right out of one bag and they'll chew into another one. So after you've discarded the source of the problem, you're going to want to remove the other items out of your pantry. You want to do a deep clean and then you're going to want to spray with six feet under. Six feet under will go in and clean out all the pheromones and whatnot that the, that the moths use to communicate with one another, and it's going to act also as a repellent, as well as killing any kind of eggs and larvae that you may have missed in your cleaning. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to want to put some sort of cedar plank or repelling, something that's going to repel moths. So that's what I recommend is cedar planks, uh, cedar chips, something along those lines. They don't like cedar, and it tells them to, uh, in your words, scram. And then lastly, what I recommend is using a uh, pantry moth trap. Now we have premium pantry moth traps and they work really, really well. I would recommend not putting them next to your food, uh, but instead putting them like out in the kitchen. Put one up on top of the refrigerator, put another one on the countertop and uh, a third one, kind of like a triangular shape in your kitchen. It kind of creates a web. And what it'll do is it'll draw all the male moths in and then the females have nothing to reproduce with. And so it cuts off reproduction. And that's the, that's the best way. Those steps and you'll be moth free.